What's up, guys? Madden is out tonight, to now, round now. Do you have it? Did you move to New Zealand to get Madden? A bunch of different things you could have did to play Madden this weekend. And if you're still waiting on a game, that's great. Because I got one question for all you guys, man. Who is the number one card you are going to target once you get your hands on a game? Or that you acquired first when you already had your hands on a game? Who was your number one target? For me, it was Patrick Peterson, man. So let me know who you guys want to go get. And I'll give you five names. If you guys are really not sure, I'll give you five guys that I think you guys should add to your team and are really important. One, this Isaiah Simmons card. Now, I know he's probably expensive and the set is a lot. So if you can't get them, I understand. So I'll give you some more options. Isaiah Simmons, of course. Also, you got to get this Terrell Edmonds, the Steelers um, team builder. He's an awesome safety, fast. He can hit. Uh, Grant Delpit, I, I believe is his name. Delpit from the Browns team builder. He is a 6'3 safety that's also fast and can run. And then Terrell, AJ Terrell, the corner from the Falcons, who's a team builder, who's six foot one and 90 speed, gonna be able to keep up with Tyreek Hill day one. Those are all team builders. Really not that expensive to get those cards, man. And hey, if you wanna drop down a little bit more, you can get a Denzel Ward. Really cheap, probably. Uh, base elite, not that crazy, but he has that 88 speed. That's gonna be able to hold you down in the back end of your secondary. Offense, Cam Akers team builder that's my running back in this video team builder for the st louis rams um i said i chose my team captain as ed mccaffrey because he won me a madden belt in madden 17 but if you don't go that route man maybe you get some receivers uh i'll be honest i had odell he was cooking for me uh i have i now i have tyree kill i had julio uh, a bunch of different options i had but like i said i would pick ed mccaffrey as your team captain he's an absolute dog but those are just some players I think you guys would like to have. Now, let me know. Let me know that one player you're going after if I didn't mention him, man. Uh, but like I said, this is getting to this gameplay. I stream every single night. You guys can watch me play live. Twitch.tv, that link is below. Any offense and defense, I'm working on an ebook right now. It should be out within the next two days. Uh, MaddenTurf.com, that link is also below. So make sure you guys check that out, man. And if you get that premium membership for the whole year, it's gonna hold you down, man. You're gonna get every ebook I put out, every ebook Clef puts out, every ebook CC puts out, every single thing the entire site does. You get as long as you play that VIP membership. So check out that link below and let's get into this gameplay. All right, so this was against Trey King, who actually was the San Francisco 49ers Club Series champion last year. And if you remember the Club Series tournament, Trey Kings actually gave Vault his best game. Could have won that game, uh, but Volt was able to move on in advance and knock Trey Kings out of the club championship. So he's definitely a decent player, one of the, one of the bright young players in Madden. So if you guys run into him on the leaderboard, be ready for a sweat. Now, early in the year, I'm going to tell you right, the meta right now is Bunch, uh, more so than any other formation, and man coverage, as I hold him to three on the first drive, and man coverage. So uh, when I'm trying to mix it up, I don't want to just run man coverage because I don't think man coverage will have the longevity. I don't think it's going to be around for a long time, maybe two or three weeks, but definitely not the whole season. Um, people are going to get really used to being man, and they already are kind of getting hip to it. So I, I'm going to try to mix in a little match, a little zone, something like that, as I hit Tyreek Hill over there to the sideline. Now this game, uh, I'm going to stay in bunch primarily. Uh, it, it really just has the best route combos as I hit Bennett, but he drops the ball. Uh, I, I can count on one hand how many, how many drops uh, Drew Bennett has. Um, Tennessee Titans team diamond absolute goon I have Bennett I have McCaffrey and I have Tyree kill here we go stepping up in the pocket hitting that post route two or four mentioned Bennett Baja touchdown take that seven to three lead that's what it's about so yeah and I have Jermichael Finley the Packers team builder that's my tight end and like I said cam makers now I had as he hit this wheel route in front of uh, I believe that's Terrell I have out there this game um but like I said, I have Russell Wilson. Um, I had him early, so I gave him a shot, and he's given me no reason to upgrade or take him out. So Russell Wilson is going to be my quarterback for a while now until he starts messing up. I kind of want to try that Lamar, but mm, as I need to get that football right there. I try to want to try Lamar. We get him to a fourth and ten right here. Let's get up off the field. Ooh, whoa, he hits that dot right there. Terrell C. I went and got Troy Vincent for that as he hits a little screen. Now, I'll tell you what. If you guys are hopping on a game, try those screens. Screens are a lot better this year than they have been in the last couple years. But like I said, that play at fourth down, A.J. Terrell might have got him cut because right now I have Troy Vincent at that number one corner spot as he hits the post route to his Drew Bennett. 
uh, right over the middle. He has Alvin Kamara, a great pass catching running back, but he's so slow. I don't think he's a good option uh, as he throws a dot. Asante just got mossed right there. I just spent all that time bigging up Asante Samuel to you guys in the pregame. Probably uh, my favorite corner on the game right now. He jumps things that nobody else jumps, but he got mossed right there. It happens. Asante is 5'10". When he guards those 6'5", guys, he's going to have a little bit of trouble. Um, first drive, I went down the field pretty easy. The second drive, he's going to mix in a lot more zone. Get out of that man coverage as we find Mr. McCaffrey, but the ball bounces off his face. He did not want to catch that one. Third and three, we have nowhere to go with the football. We wound up getting sacked. Get me to a fourth and long. Uh, we are going to, well, actually, now that I look at it, <laughs> that was the end of the half. So we are getting the ball starting the third quarter right now. Uh, I am down by three, but I feel all right. Let's just go down the field, get seven, get this lead back, and that, that's what it's about for the most part. Um, but like I said, he went to zone a little bit more. Honestly, zone, people are in man so much right now. When people mix in zone, sometimes it looks bad out. Sometimes I don't look crispy, as you see right here. He's manning some people up, putting a couple zones out here. A lot of coverage early in the year, whether it's man or zone, as I dumped the ball off there. Third and 10, flat route to Jermichael Finley. Biggest difference as I hit the wheel route to McCaffrey. Biggest difference in Madden 20, Madden 21 is the effectiveness of the flats. He sent everybody at me right there. McCaffrey over top, but... Russell couldn't get that throw down. Second and 10. Just he's sending more people at me. Yeah, the effectiveness of throwing in the flats this year is going to make it really tough to guard bunch, guard uh, bunch tight end, guard any type of tight formation because you can hit the slots. Fourth down, we're going to go for it. And paper or plastic because that's an absolute bag. I got boxed. Bad drive, bad couple plays I strung together, man. Strung together a couple bad plays as he hits this post route over the top in front of Adrian Wilson. We're closing in in the end of the third quarter. I got to get off the field here. I got to make a play. Got to uh, give myself a chance on offense here. We're playing great coverage, and we get a fumble, but his fat lineman picks it up. That's cool because we're going to get him to third and long right here. He's going to drop back. Looking for that post route, but give me that Terrell Edmonds. That's the card I told you guys about. He's fast. He's tough, and we almost get up out of there. I should have kept going. I don't think Kamara catches me. Maybe Lamar Jackson does. I thought too much. Tried to get too cute right there. But we get the big pick. So if you're struggling with a user and you can't get the Isaiah Simmons, make sure you check out that Terrell Edmonds. Pittsburgh Steelers team builder. He's a dog, especially for the price that he is. I think it's pretty good. Oh, right there I had B, missed it, gets sacked right here. Listen, there's this one thing in the game they have like auto chew clock. It like automatically chews the clock every time you get tackled and bounce, as you'll see right here. Uh, I got to snap the ball with 11 right away because I don't have time, and I hit this dot. Just perfect timing, almost a split second too late, and it would have been a pick, but I caught it in front of him. Boom, now we got to try to punch this in. We have to punch this in. Second down and four. Um, in hindsight, it's always it should run a couple times down here, right? At least an inside zone or a base, maybe even a draw. Uh, because I can't find anybody go to back of the end zone. Toe tap, keep your feet right there. Have to settle for tying the game up. Uh, it's 10 to 10, low scoring game. The game's going fast. We got a lot of completions, keeping that clock running. Let's try to get off the field right here. One sack, and I can go. I feel like I can. Get off the field, and there it is right there, Doomerville. I have Doomerville and Adelius Thomas at my outside linebackers with edge threat, so they are coming around the edge right there really fast. Uh, boom, right there. He does a little corner route right at my face. He kind of guessed right there. Got away with it. Going to try to mix in a little run. 30 seconds left. Two timeouts left for him, man. We got to get off the field here. He scrambles with Lamar Jackson. I feel like my dudes just did not react. And we need a fumble right there. Inside field goal range almost. And I told you, Isaiah Simmons is the man to have. Boom. For that reason. You see that star under his feet? That star under his feet is Acrobat. And I don't know if I get that pick without Acrobat. So 17 seconds left. Let's go get a field goal. Stepping up right here, but I crossed the line. Waste of a play. 10 seconds left. You guys have seen me do more with less. 10 seconds. We're going to roll out with Russell. Hit uh, my manager, Michael Finley. Get up. Get a couple yards. Two seconds left. You have seen me do more with less. I'll dump it off and get tackled. There it is. Oh, so nothing happens there. We're headed to overtime. Um, it would be nice if I could win a toss, but of course I didn't win the toss. 
Um, that's not why they watch. It's too easy to win the toss. You got to kick the ball, take the ball from them, then ram it down their throats. You know what I'm saying? That's from Little Giants. Now, I'm gonna, you guys might be too, too young for Little Giants. Give me an age check in the chat or in the comments. How old are you and did you ever watch Little Giants? Absolute classic. Uh, but we're in overtime. Got to make some plays. Scrambles with Lamar. That's one reason I might want Lamar over Russell. Just the pure speed. 88 speed for a quarterback is really fast. Boom, he hits me with a dot. Two Tyree kill. Post route in front of my safety again. Next play goes underneath to Alvin Kamara. Getting some yards. Getting it done. He's in field goal range. As long as he doesn't turn it over, he will get the lead in this overtime period. We're applying the pressure. Lamar Jackson gets out of bounds there. Um, next play rolls out. Nowhere for him to go with the football. Looking for the crosser. They're all standing out of bounds. Nowhere to go right there. Next play, he's going to step up in the pocket. And Isaiah Simmons, I'm telling you, number one must have card and mutt. Uh, Isaiah Simmons, 6'4", 90 speed. Uh, nothing else needs to be said. And, and then Tyree Kill might be on a list of must-needed players and mutt going up top against that cover of one no safety and that man cannot stay with reek dump it off underneath to my man Ackers, getting inside the 15 yard line i really don't want to kick an ice field goal i will be honest with you guys that's why i'm still passing i could run here and kick the field goal really don't want to i'm gonna step up in the pocket and ggs russell to drew bennett absolute lethal combination that's going to end this game and send him to the locker room man